Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord tonight in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Beloved, this is the remnant hour with kingdom preachers. Hallelujah. We are coming on your way um, tonight in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let us share the word of prayer and see what the Lord has for us tonight. Let's pray. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we bless your name. We give glory to your holy name in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we are here to listen to your word and pray concerning your word. We pray that Lord Jesus Christ, give us understanding in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And let your word come with power, with, with power of transformation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That will transform our hearts in Jesus' mighty name we are praying with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Beloved, as I said earlier on, God bless you tonight for being with us, Kingdom Preachers. Hallelujah. Today, also, we are going on with a, um, a topic that we have been treating for the past two weeks, almost past two weeks. What are you pressing into? Praise the Lord. There is the topic that we are still treating. Please, make sure that when you come on it, you share. Hallelujah. You share it, praise the Lord. You share it so that everyone who will also enjoy and also come to the knowledge of the truth, as the Bible says. Hallelujah. Let's go to the Bible and visit what the see what the Bible is telling us tonight. The book of Luke, chapter number 16, verse number 16. And let's see, please, who is, who is Luke reading it for me? 16. Luke the 16. law and the prophets were unto John. The law and the prophet were unto John. Since that time, the kingdom of God has been preached. The, since that time, the kingdom of God has been heard, preached. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The, the law and the prophet were unto John. And since that time, the kingdom of God has been preached. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone will ask that, what is that law that we are talking about? Because you have been saying, law, 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 law. What is that law that we are talking about? Beloved, we are talking about the laws of Moses. Hallelujah. The books of Moses, the books that the Lord commanded Moses to write. That is what the laws of what? The laws that the Bible is talking about. And in this law, based on this law, the prophets also came. Praise the Lord. The prophets of old, they also came. They prophesied based on the law. Hallelujah. So that is the reason why the Bible says that the, the law and the prophets were what? Unto John. So since the time that Moses brought that law, the prophet also stood upon the law to what? Prophesy. Praise the Lord. They prophesy based on the law. Before they will give any prophecy, they stand upon the law and prophesy. Sometimes they will, they will go to the, 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 the Lord, will, the Lord will command that prophet, telling him or her, telling the prophet that, go and tell my people that this is what they have done. They have gone, they, they've done a, um, evil against me based on the law. Hallelujah. So these people... Uh, the people of Israel is the people that I'm talking about. These people will go against the law. And because of what they have done against the law, because they have gone contrary to the law, the Lord will command the prophet that go and tell my people that this is what they have done. It is evil in my sight. So they shouldn't do it again. Also, if the Lord wants to tell them something good, the Lord will also will tell the prophet that this is what I have for my people. So go and tell them. Praise the Lord. So the Lord, these people will go, the, the, the prophets will go and tell what the people of God, being the Israelites, that this is what the Lord is saying to you. Praise the Lord. So the prophet used, they stood upon the laws of Moses to prophesy, either good or bad. Praise the Lord. And this is the law that we are talking about. And the Bible says that this law continued from the days of Moses to the Lord, to, um, to the time of Malach, Malachi. Praise the Lord. So he said that the law and the prophet were unto John. Malachi, Malachi came before John. Praise the Lord. So when you talk about the law and the prophet, we are talking about what? From Genesis to what? Malachi. That is what? The law and the prophet. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So these were there. This law and the prophet, the, the, the books of the prophet were there to the, the time that what? John the Baptist what came. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And from the time that John the Baptist came, he did not go to the law. But he just, he just what? He started preaching about the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. John was started preaching about what? The kingdom of God. 
when you say that the prophets were um, come, um, prophesying based on the law, like as I'm quoting the scripture tonight to you, it's like that. When someone comes, maybe you meet in a synagogue, the church will meet, or the people of God will meet in the synagogue. When this gathering comes, to get, comes on, then before they can read any word of God, they will bring you the, um, the laws of Moses, either the laws of Moses or the books of God, the prophets. For you to read so it's like as i'm quoting to you that we should read the book of luke chapter number 16 verse number 16 it's like that in those days hallelujah but when john came john did not have quoted the um the law and the prophet he also came with new thing that is the kingdom of god praise the lord hallelujah. so someone will ask that why is it that john did not preach about the law or the prophet hallelujah let's go to the book of jeremiah chapter number 31 Verse number 31 and see the reason why John did not preach about the law and the prophet, but he came with different message. The book of Jeremiah chapter number 31. 31, verse 31. Verse 31. Behold, behold, the days are coming. The days are coming. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. This one tells us tells us that what the Lord Himself is what talking through the prophet Jeremiah, saying that the days are what coming, says the Lord. So all these words that we are about to hear from now, no, it is what? It is what? The sayings of the Lord, Je the Lord himself. Hallelujah. So please continue. When I will make a new covenant. I will make a new covenant. Who is making a new covenant? The Lord himself. He said what? He would make a new covenant. Continue, please. With the house of Israel. With the house of Israel. And with the house of Judah. And with the house of what? Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. Amen. Who are the fathers that the Lord made covenant with them? It is the time of Moses, the time that Moses was there. The time that uh, Moses went to the land of Egypt to take the people of God from the land of Egypt that the, uh, he, and he was bringing them to the, camp, uh, to the land of um, Canaan. That is what, what he's talking about. Praise the Lord. When they were coming on the way, then the Lord started giving them what? The commandments. Or he started giving them what? He, he gave them what? A covenant. And that is the covenant that we are talking about now. He said that this covenant that I have with them, the time is coming, I will change that covenant. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'll give you what? New covenant. Please proceed. In the day that I took them by the end to lead them out of the land of Egypt. I made a covenant with them in the days that I took them from the land of what of what Egypt. Please proceed. My covenant, which they broke. That covenant, the people of Israel had broke that covenant. Praise the Lord. Amen. Proceed. Though I was husband to them, the Lord was a husband God to the people of Israel. Proceed. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. So he is coming to tell us the covenant that is what? He's coming to do the new one. Praise the Lord. He's coming to what? Tell us the new one because the old one, they could not go by the commandments or the commandments of the covenant. Praise the Lord. So now, from now onwards, I'll make a new covenant. And the covenant that the Lord said that I'll make with the people, the house of Israel, these are the covenant. Let's see. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. I will put my law in their minds. I will put my heart, law in their heart, hearts, mind, mind. in their minds. And Praise write the Lord. It on their hearts. And write it on their heart, their hearts. The first covenant was written on what? On stone. But this one is not on stone. But it's what? In their hearts. Praise the Lord. The first covenant was what? Written on stone. But the second covenant would. The, the, the second one will be hot. Will be on their heart, their heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, are you done? And I will be their God. And I will be their God. And they shall be my. And people. they shall be my people. Praise the Lord. So when the Lord write that covenant on the heart of the people that the, 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 the people that the Lord will make the new covenant with them, no, then it is what it is from that time that you view their heart, their God, and they will be His people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this is it. The reason why John did not go and visit the law, John did not use the law to what? Prophesy. 
But he, he came out with what? With a new gospel. That is what the gospel of God, the kingdom of God. That is the reason why. Praise the Lord. Because the Lord has told them that he will change the covenant. So it means that the change started from what? From John. The time that John started his, what? his preaching, that was the very day that what? the gospel was changed from the law and the Moses to what? To the kingdom of God. The preaching of the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. So let me ask you a question. That if in the days of John, in the days of John, the gospel changed from the days of John, then let me ask you, what about our, what about our days? Praise the Lord. In our days now, in our era, in our generation, what will be the, 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 the gospel that is supposed to be preaching? Because in the days of John, John did not preach about the law or the prophet. But he came out of the world with what? The preaching of God, the, go um, the, the gospel of God, the kingdom of God. So let me ask that now, what gos gospel do we have to preach? Praise the Lord. That is the reason why I said that since the time of John, the gospel of the kingdom of God is being what? Preached. And when you proceed, he said that, and people are what? Pressing into it, into the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. One thing is that, this, this kingdom is not like a tribal kingdom. It's not a kingdom that someone will say that, oh, you are not from this tribe, so you, you cannot be old. You, can, you cannot be part of the kingdom. This kingdom, it, it, it is there for everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the kingdom of God. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Whenever the kingdom of God is preached, everyone should, what, should come, no matter whom you are. You should come. But the day that um, the, the first covenant, it was there for what? the people of Israel. So before he can be considered to, what? to obey the law, you have to go to the land of Israel before he can what? obey the law. But this one, the Lord did not do it that way. The moment this gospel is preached, the gospel of what? The kingdom of God is preached, then people what? come into it. Praise the Lord. And if you have to say, when you go to the book of Luke, the Bible says that when John started preaching, people came to him. And he was what? Baptizing them. Praise the Lord. He was what? Baptizing them. Because it was what? A new message to them. They have heard the law. Why is it that they did not run to the law, but they ran toward the gospel of the kingdom of God? Praise the Lord. They, heard, they ran to John. But the Bible did not, I, I have not told us that in, do, uh, in that scripture that um, they were running into the law. But they, 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 heard, they ran toward to the gospel of the kingdom of God. That was preached by John. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So tonight, I want to tell you that, please, we are here to, to, to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God to you. Please run into the kingdom of God because when John preached that came, the, the, the gospel of the kingdom of God, people had run to it. They came into it. And John was what? Baptizing them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. John was, was what? Baptizing them into the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that many confess to John for him to be baptized. Praise the Lord. Let's Hallelujah. move on. The book of John chapter number 9, verse number 29, see something over there. There is a story that happened in the days of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is the story that I want to, I want to, I want to learn something. I want you and I to learn something from this story that the Lord, that happened in the days of the Lord Jesus Christ. John chapter number 9, verse number 28. Let me start saying the, um, the story. It happened that a certain man was blind from his, from his mother's womb. And the Lord Jesus Christ met him. He, he, he opened his eyes. And it got to the point that the Pharisees heard that the eye of that, the, that blind man is what has opened. So they have to what? They have to ask him some questions. And asking him the questions, that is what, this is what happened. Please read for me. John chapter 9, verse 29. John chapter 9, verse number 29. Then they revealed him and said, revived him and said, They revived they him and he said, You are his disciple. You are his what? Disciple. Who is it? He is that they are talking about. They are talking about the okay. Lord Jesus Christ. This man started what? Teaching the Pharisees. Speaking to them about the Lord Jesus Christ. They asked him question that, How did it happen? How could you? How, how, how could it happen that your eyes is what is open? Is it true? Then the man said, that, "Ah, do you want to be his disciple?" That is when the man said, uh, the, the, "The Pharisees said that we are not his disciple, but you are his what disciples." 
But we are Moses disciple. But we are what? Moses what? Disciple. Meaning we have two masters here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have gotten two masters here. They are saying, the Pharisees are saying that we are for Moses. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you are for Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So why is it that the Pharisees told this man that we are for Moses and you are for the Lord Jesus Christ? Why? Meaning that there's what? Division over here. Please, if you want to go into the law, it means that you want to join or Judaism. Because when you, go to the, when you go to the land of Israel, that is the religion over there. And that is the religion of what? The religion that the Lord, uh, the Lord brought um, in the days of Moses. That is Judaism. So if you want to, if you want to, if you want to um, be heeded to the law, it means that you want what? You want to be part of what? Judaism. Anyone who obey the law means that that person is what? For Judaism. Paul said it. That when he was in Judaism, he, he was what? Persecuting the church. And what was the law? What was the commandment? What was the ratings for the Judaism? It's not the law and the prophet. That is what they are using. So the moment you visit the law and the prophet, it means that you want to join uh, Judaism. Praise the Lord. So in our days, people are in Christianity, but their heart, their heart is for what? Judaism. Praise the Lord. Please, tonight we are telling you that please run into the kingdom of God. Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter number. 7, verse number 7 and 6 something. What happened is that the reason why John, John did not go back into the law and the prophet to preach about the law and the prophet is that the law was what? Was that what reveals him? Praise the Lord. The reason, let me, let me give you some example. The example that I'll, I'll give you is that there's a light. Hallelujah. You might be in a darkness, but a light word will appear. Before the light will appear, you may be ha having what a needle in your hand. Then the needle will fall down. You will like to what? Consult the light. You bring the light. When you bring the light, you will see that the needle is on the ground. But can the light take the needle for you? Hallelujah. So that is how the, the law became. Hallelujah. The Lord what? Became a light for sin. The moment the law came, sin was what? Revealed. Praise the Lord. That is the reason why John did not hold, preach about what the law and Moses. Because he, he, he knew that if he preached the law and, um, and um, the prophets, he is going to what, teach people about what, how to know sin. Praise the Lord. Let's proceed and go to the book of... The, the thing is, when you talk about the law, I told you earlier on that it is from the book of Genesis up to Malachi. That is the law and the prophets. Because Malachi is what? Is a prophet. Praise the Lord. Moses, the servant of God, wrote the law, and Malachi also heard. Malachi also heard. Three armor, how do you call it? Prophesy based on the law. Praise the Lord. And this one, if you have to see, if someone might understand, you go to the book of Galatians, chapter number four, verse number 21. When you read the book of Galatians, chapter four, mm -hmm. verse number 21, you know that the book, of Gen uh, the book of Genesis is one of the laws of Moses. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The book of Genesis is what? One of the laws of what? Moses. Let's see the law. The law is what is, um, the law said every one she heard, she stop. Every month she heard, stop. Hallelujah. The moment the law comes in, no one can be justified. Praise the Lord. The moment you, you say that, oh me, I want to obey the law, it means you can never be just what? Justified. The book of Romans chapter number 3, verse number 19 to 20. Romans chapter 3, verse Romans 3, 19, 20. Now, we know that whatever the law says, whatever the law says, it says to those who are under it the law. It says to those who are under the law. So the moment you come under the law, it means the law is what? Speaking to you. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Proceed. That every mouth, that every mouth may be stopped. No matter whom you are, the law says that is what? You should keep quiet. Praise the Lord. Mm. Continue. And all the world may become guilty before God. That all the world may become what? Guilty before what? God. That is what the law says. So the moment you say that I want to obey the law, it means that your mouth is should, 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 should be shut. Keep quiet. No justification. Praise the Lord. Mm. The moment you consult the law, it means that your heart, you'll be condemned. Mm. Because there's no way you can obey the law. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. And the Bible also says that 
if you stumble at one of the law, you have what? Stumble at all the, 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 the whole law of Moses. Praise the Lord. So please, the law, you can never obey the law. And someone may, might also say that, oh, me, I'm obeying only one. If you obey one, it means that you're obeying all. According to the book of James, read the Romans, proceed from the Romans. Verse 20. Verse number 20. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, therefore, by the deeds of the law, no flesh, no will flesh justified will be what? Justified. In his Pre sight. In his sight. In the sight of God, there's no way someone can be justified mm -hmm. by the law. Praise the Lord. So if you say that, me, I want to obey the law, when you talk about the law, you are talking about the commandments, the Ten Commandments. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that is the covenant that the Lord made with what? The people of Israel. When you go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 4, verse number 13, you will see it. Praise the Lord. He said that what? The commandments is the same. The Ten Commandments is the same as what? The covenant. Praise the Lord. So when you talk about the covenants, the old covenant, we are talking about the Ten Commandments because the commandment makes what? The, the, the covenant what? Very great and firm. Praise the Lord. If I want to make a covenant with someone and there's no law, it means that that covenant is what? Invalid. So the Ten Commandments makes what? Makes the law what? Very firm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the moment you consult the law, the Bible says that you can never be what? Justified. Please, which law have you taken upon yourself that you want to obey? That law that you want to obey, please, stay away from it. Run into the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's proceed and see the book of Matthew chapter number 22, verse number 39 to 40. The thing is, I want, to, I want to tell you something about the law, or I want to read some of the laws to you. The Bible says that you read. Matthew 22, verse 39. Matthew chapter number 22, verse number 39. Verse 39. Yes. And the second is like this. And the second is that like this. Please, I'm coming. The thing is, the Bible says that someone went to the Lord Jesus Christ and asked him the greatest commandment in the law. And the Lord Jesus Christ said that you should love what? The Lord your God, with all your heart, soul, and everything that you have. After that, then the Lord said, the second one, the, the second greatest commandment in the law is like this. That is what we are reading now. You shall love your neighbor. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. As yourself. That, that is what? The law. Please finish. On these two commandments. On these two commandments. Hang all the law and the prophet. Hang all the heart, the law and the prophet. Praise the Lord. Amen. So when you talk about the law and the prophet, it's talking about what? loving God and loving your neighbor as yourself. Please, please. Hallelujah. Amen. And have you heard that someone has what killed himself before? Yes. You have yes. not heard yes. that someone has killed himself before. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So imagine that someone has taken a drug, poison. Drank this poison and killed himself. Can, they, can this person love you? Mm. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that we should love our neighbor as ourselves in the law. That is the law. The Bible says that this law are what? What the law and the prophets would hang upon. And the Bible says this is how it is. He said we should love our neighbor as what? Ourselves. So if I should love my neighbor as myself, if I've not eaten tonight, and you come to me that, oh, please, I want you to give me some money so that I can buy some money, as I, I can buy some food to eat. I've not eaten. I love you like myself. I've not eaten. Can I give you money to buy food? Hallelujah. I cannot give you money to buy food because I have not eaten. I prepared the food over there. I'm supposed to give you some, but because I've not eaten some, I'll not give you. That is loving your neighbor as yourself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And even when you, when you go when you go into the into the into the into the um into the law it happened that because of the law G the lord jesus christ was there one day and they brought some woman that this woman was caught in the heart in the very act of what fornication hallelujah so they have brought this woman to the lord jesus christ that lord this is what we are saying about this woman what is your judgment tell us something so that we can strike her and kill her hallelujah but in their law, they have what? Love your neighbor as yourself. 
is the woman not it is the woman the woman that they brought to the lord jesus christ that he should condemn her is she not part of the people of israel but they condemn her so the law was there love your neighbor as yourself the love was there but they did not love hallelujah they could not love the woman because in the same law it is written that everyone who who do that that same act should be hurt, should be killed should be hurt, stoned that is the reason why so please if you want to go and, uh, uh, and and abide by the law, please, it means that your life is short. Praise the Lord. Mm. And also, you don't have share in the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Uh, yeah. Yes, you don't have share in the kingdom of God. Even if I'm to say, from the book of Genesis, up to Revelation, uh, up to Malachi, where in the Bible, where was it written that the Lord commanded someone that I'll give you the kingdom of God? Where? Praise the Lord. The Lord was promising the people land. I'll give you land. I'll give you land. I'll give you land. So if you want to possess the land, that is when you got you consult you consult the law. But if you want to possess the kingdom of God, you have to what? come into what into the Lord Jesus Christ. Because in the in the law, the reason why the law was given is that the the the, the Lord was what taking them from the 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 land of what Egypt to what to the land of what Canaan. So the law was what given to them based on their own, their journey. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. What is the journey that you have now? Amen. You have the journey that we are, we are embarking is what? Is into the what? The kingdom of God. Amen. So why is it that I was, you say that, oh, me, I want to obey the law. The Ten Commandments still holds. The Ten Commandments, the, the Ten Commandments is what? Still standing. So I, I will hold on to the Ten Commandments because with the Ten Commandments, I can please God. How can you please God? Let me ask you one question. Why? Why is it that Moses himself could not go to the, could not get to the land of what? Egypt. Uh, to the, uh, he could not get to the land of Canaan. Why? Moses himself. Hallelujah. Moses himself could not get to the land of what? Canaan. He brought the law, but he could not get to the land of what Canaan. Why? Because the law he was, he could not obey the law to the fullest. Hallelujah. But let me ask you, what Moses did for the Lord to kill him, kill him. Let me ask you that. In our days, if you do the same thing with the, with the Lord Jesus, why kill you? No. Even if you have to say, the Bible says that Moses is one of the greatest prophets ever lived in his days. But the Lord killed him because what? He could not obey the law. Can you obey the law? The man, the man who brought the law, whom the, whom the Lord spoke to him, for him to write the law, could not obey it to the, to the end. Can you obey it? That is the reason why the Lord Jesus Christ came with the gospel of what? The kingdom of God. And that is the reason why we, are, we also have sort taken upon ourselves that what? you preach the kingdom of God unto you. Because that is what the commandment of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord has what commanded us. Go and go to the book of John, chapter number eleven, chapter number twenty-one, verse number twenty. He said that as the Father sent me, I'm also what sending you. Praise the Lord. So the Lord Jesus Christ came on this and preached about the kingdom of God, and also what commanded the disciples. We are also part of the disciples because the, the generation is what what is not what is not past. Praise the Lord, beloved. You can never obey the law. Praise the Lord. Because as I've, I've referred to you, that even Moses himself, the man who, whom the Lord spoke to him, he went to the Lord for 40 days. He stood before the Lord for 40 days. The Lord spoke, spoke, to, he spoke to Moses face to face, as the Lord says in his word. But this man, after, after that the Lord has spoken to him, this same man could not get to the land of Canaan. Why? Because of the law. If there was no law, Moses wouldn't have died. died. Praise the Lord. So please, the reason why we are telling you that the law is passed is that the Lord Jesus Christ ended it. When you go to the book of Romans, chapter number 10, verse number 4, you are not reading that one. You can draw them down. When you go, go into the scriptures and what? Search. You see it yourself. The Lord Jesus Christ what ended it. But the, 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 uh, how the Bible says that 
He ended it to those who who believe. So if you don't believe, it means that the law will still work on you. But if you believe, it means that you are not part of the law. Praise the Lord. So beloved, I want you to believe in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. You should believe in the kingdom of God so that the Lord Jesus can, can, what? can save you out from the law. Praise the Lord. Because you and I cannot obey the laws of <coughs> Moses. Do you know the sacrifices that you're supposed to you're supposed to what you be making before you can you can what fulfill the law? How many times have you made a sacrifice? Hallelujah. He said that the Ten Commandments what is still standing. So how many sacrifices have you made? That you are still saying that, oh me, I will obey the laws of Moses. The reason, let me tell you one thing. If you say that the, the laws of Moses, the Ten Commandments is not there, it doesn't mean that you are teaching people to what? To be ungodly. What is in the New Testament is, is even above what you, are, you want to obey. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So you are not you are not teaching people to be what to go away what to the word of God. But you want we want people to what to serve God in what in spirit. That is the reason why, and that is what the Lord Jesus Christ also wants. Like as it is written in the book of John, chapter four, verse number twenty four, he said that a time is coming that those who worship God must what worship in what in spirit in and in truth, and this is the time. So because the Lord Jesus Christ wants us to worship him, serve him in spirit, but not in the flesh, that is the reason why he came on this earth. To what? To preach about his kingdom. And that is the reason why we also are, we are also preaching the kingdom of God unto you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Are you done with what you are reading? He said, love your neighbor as yourself. Hallelujah. And let's see what the love that the Lord Jesus Christ gave us. The book of John chapter number 30, verse number 34. He said, love your neighbor as yourself. And I've, I've, I've told you that loving your neighbor means if, I, if, I, if I'm not having anything, I, can, I cannot give you some. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If I've not eaten, I will not give you food to eat. Hallelujah. Yes, if I've not eaten, I will not give you food to eat. Because me, myself, that I've prepared my food, or I have my money, I've not eaten. Can I give you food? I cannot give you food, I or I cannot give you money. But if I love you, like as the Lord Jesus Christ commanded us, I can give you food at the time that I've not eaten. Even if I've not eaten, I can give you food. Please read for me. John chapter number 13, verse number 34. John chapter 13, verse 32. John chapter 13, verse, 32. verse number 34. Verse 34. Praise the Lord. A new commandment. A new commandment. Why, 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 why should the Lord Jesus Christ say that a new commandment? Because it is written in the book of what? Jeremiah 31, verse number 31. He said, a new commandment to God will be given. So the Lord Jesus Christ, when he came on this, he said, this is the new commandment that I'm, on. I'm giving you. He read the old commandment concerning love. And we are reading the new commandment concerning love. Please proceed. That, that you love one another. That you love one another. Everyone should what? love his what? His neighbor. Mm -hmm. As I have loved you. As I, the I there is the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not me talking to you. Please the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's not me talking to you. The Lord Jesus Christ is saying that. Love your neighbor as I have what? loved you. What is the love? It's not... When you go to the book of Romans chapter number 8, verse number 5, he said, 5, 8, sorry. The book of Romans chapter number 5, verse number 8, he said, whilst we are yet sinners, Christ would die for us. He did not consider, he did not say that, oh, let me, let, let me consider their righteousness before I'll, I'll die for them. So the Lord Jesus Christ died for us, even in our sins, to save us. So loving Someone as the Lord Jesus Christ loves us, but it's what it, it's what it's it beyond what is written in the book of the law. Hallelujah! Jesus said that love your neighbor, love yourself. You should love one another as I, I have what loved you. So, if the Lord Jesus Christ has loved us and died for us, it means that you also supposed to what die for someone. That is the reason why kingdom preachers are here. Yes. Praise the Lord. Because if you don't have love for someone, you can never leave your job and come 
and hide yourself and say that, oh, I want to prepare myself so that because I think about those out there, because I think about those who are not, who, are, who, who have not gotten the gospel, I have to what, separate myself from what? From the world and what? Train myself so that I can preach the gospel to them. It's not the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. But th that's one says that if I don't have, I shouldn't what, give you. If I've not gotten some, I shouldn't give you. That is the first one. And the second one says that I should what, love you as the Lord Jesus Christ would love me. Hallelujah. I want to talk about the tithing. Hallelujah. Based on the law. Because we are talking about the law. And tithing is also part of the law. Praise the Lord. Yes. And bear in mind, let me tell you one thing. That when, when, when we tell you that tithing is one of the laws of Moses, it doesn't mean that we are, we, we are telling you that you shouldn't give. We are not condemning giving. Praise the Lord. But the word tithing, it's part of the law. That is the reason why we don't want you to obey or do tithing. But it's not that you are, out, you are against giving. Praise the Lord. Please, let's read. Someone, someone might say that, oh, even a Titan Christ is not part of the laws of Moses. It's not part of the laws that the Lord, the Lord gave him, uh, Moses on the, on the mount. Let's go to the book of Leviticus chapter number 29, verse number 30 to 34. Hallelujah. Mm. Leviticus chapter number 27, verse number 30. It reads, verse, 30. verse number 30. And all the tithes, and all the tithes of the land, of the land, whether of the seed, whether of, of the, the seed, land, or the fruit of the and there. This one is talking about tithes. We have heard the tithes. Reading from the book of Leviticus 27, verse number 30. All the tithes. Everything that you get. You, you are working at a farm. You are, you are, you are a cocoa farmer. But when you get your cocoa, you sell it before you go and do your tithing. But the Bible did not tell us when he was giving the commandments based on the tithing, he did not say that you should sell them before you come and do your tithing. Your tomatoes, you should bring the fresh tomatoes. Everything that you have, you get. You have to what, do the tithing. Maybe you might be an animal or farmer. The animal that you are in, that's what you supposed to is what you should be bringing. It's not money that you, are, you have been bringing now, saying that I'm doing tithing. Praise the Lord. If I'm to say, in our days, in our days, only people who can bring money will be those who are working at the bank or who, whom they are working for, uh, ma, ma, uh, like to be paid. But if you are working, using your hand to do something, uh, the, wh whatever that you are using your hand to do, that's what you're supposed to take the tithe from it. You shouldn't sell it and bring the, what do you call it, the, the, the proceedings. Hallelujah. So please, Read, jump to 34. I want to, I want, I want to, I want to, I want to say verse something. Verse 34. Verse number 34. These are the commandments. These are the commandments. Which the Lord commanded Moses. Which the Lord commanded Moses. For the children of Israel. For the children of Israel. On Mount Sinai. On Mount Sinai. So, Titan is also part of the Lord that was given to Moses on the Mount of Mount Sinai. Praise the Lord. So, when you say that the laws of Moses is what? It's been done away. It's no more. It means Titan is also part of the law. And let's see something. Someone, um, uh, 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 what people have been saying is that, oh, Malachi, Malachi says something. See, let's read Mark, Malachi chapter number 3, verse number 9, you see. Before he spoke about Titan, let's see what happened. Malachi 3, verse number 9. Malachi 3, verse number 9. You are cursed. He said what? You are cursed. With a curse. It's okay. You are cursed with a curse. So before the tithe comes, curse. The moment you are not able to do the tithe according to how you're supposed to do it, you are cursed. Hallelujah. You also, it got to some point that you could not do tithe Sometimes you are not even truth. You are not even truthful to your tithe you might get maybe 1,000 Ghana, but you give 50 cities. You gave 80 cities. It means that you are, not, you are not what? You are not truthful. You are not faithful to the tithing. So it means you are cursed. Praise the Lord. So tithing came with what? Cursed. And Galatians also said that everyone who does not what? Continue with the whole law is what? Cursed. Praise the Lord. 
That person is what? Is what? Is cursed. Praise the Lord. Let's read. People have been using this scripture that, oh, the Lord Jesus Christ spoke about Titan. Let me ask you one thing. The Lord Jesus Christ said in the book of John 14, he said that, I'm going. The comforter will come. When he comes, he will teach you into all truth. So, if the comforter will come, you know that the Holy Spirit also came in the days of the Pentecost day. Eh? That is the time that the Holy Spirit came. So let me ask you one question. In the, in the books of the, uh, of the apostles of old, where can you find Titan in it? Because they are the, the, the pillars of the church. When we talk about Christianity, they are the pillars of Christianity. So their teachings is what we are holding on to. Let me ask you, where in the Bible have they written that, oh, Peter wrote that you should pay Titan. You should do Titan. Paul wrote, James wrote, Jude wrote, where is it written? Hallelujah. The apostles of old did not speak about Titan. Why? Because they know that it is done in different way. Hallelujah. Yes. And if someone, oh, someone will say that, oh, Jesus Christ the Lord um, quoted the book of Matthew chapter 23, verse number 23. Let's read that scripture and see. Matthew 23, verse number 23. If you read from the number one, you know where the Lord Jesus Christ was coming from. Please read for us. Matthew chapter 23. Matthew chapter number 23. Verse number 23. Verse number 23. Woe to you. Woe to you. Scribes and Pharisees. Scribes and Pharisees. So yeah. whom, please, let me come. Who is he talking to? Is he talking to Christians or the Pharisees? Praise the Lord. He said, what to you, Pharisees? So he was what? He was talk, talking to the Pharisees. He was, he was not talking to you. He's what? The, the disciples or the church. Praise the Lord. So when, we, 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 if you quote um, this scripture that, oh, the Lord Jesus Christ talk about Tyson, he was not talking to us. When you read the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, you know how the Lord Jesus Christ spoke. Sometimes you speak to the Pharisees. Sometimes you'll be teaching. So if he's speaking to the Pharisees, he will know how to speak to them. If you come to the Lord Jesus Christ as a Pharisee, and he's talking to you as a Pharisee, he will speak to you as what? As a Pharisee. But when he gets to the time that he's teaching his own commandments, he does not command anyone. So the time that the Lord Jesus Christ was talking, he was talking to what? The people of what? The Israel, the Pharisees. Praise the Lord. Yeah. He was not talking to the church. He was not talking to the disciples. He was talking to the Pharisees. Proceed and let's see. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. But you pay tax. These people are hypocrites. The reason why they are hypocrites is that they brought some woman that the Lord Jesus Christ you what? To condemn her. But the Lord Jesus Christ knowing all things, said that if you have not seen, please, be the first person to what? To cast the stone against the woman. Who could do it? None of them. Meaning, they, are all, they have all sinned. But they have taken someone that, oh, this person, dear, the person is supposed to die. That is the hypocrisy. So anyone who abides the laws is what? That person is hypocrite. And you see that how many times? Let me let me ask you one question. That the time that me, because I've been in that area before, the time that we were, we, 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 we are also we, we are also uh, mixing the law and the um, the laws of Moses and the prophet with the with the with the gospel with the gospel. You know, that time, you know, when if you are walking on the street and you see someone wearing trousers, you condemn the person in your head. Haven't you done some before? Praise the Lord. Haven't you condemned someone who is wearing trousers before? That is what? Condemnation. The Bible says that those people, that ministry is what? A ministry of what? Condemnation. So the moment you say that, oh, me, I want to abide the law, it means that you become a, 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 a minister of what? Condemnation. Please, the law will make you, you make you what? Some, it will make you a, a, a person of what? A condemnation. Praise the Lord. Please, come into the kingdom of God. Run into the kingdom of God. Because in the kingdom of God, there's no condemnation. The Lord Jesus Christ did not condemn the woman. The woman. But the Pharisees condemned the woman. Praise the Lord. Please, you end here. You are taking the rest of the time to pray.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Today we have gotten to know that abiding the law makes you a minister of condemnation and also makes you hypocrite. You can never even obey it to the end. You can never be justified in the sight of God. So if you want to be justified, please run into the kingdom of God. The other time a certain man said something. Oh, me? Um, he was defending the law. He said that um, the law is still standing. After he has finished saying all these things, the man said that, tonight I had, I had a dream. In a dream, I was working on, um, um, on a way where there's no one on the way. So, he said that you're abiding the, the law. The, you see that the way that you're working upon, no one was upon it. The law can never justify you. You are defending the law, but you could not understand the dream that you had. Praise the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. For what he has done in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we bless your name. We lift your holy name, O Lord. We glorify your name, O Lord. We lift your holy name, O Lord. We bless you, o God, for what you've done for us, O God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shabada bada bada ba. Rabada bada bada ba. Shabada bada bada ba. We bless your holy name, O Lord. We lift your holy name, O Lord. We glorify your name, O Lord. We magnify your name, O Lord. We exalt your praise, O Lord. We are for you and honor you, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We live to holy name, Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want to say something. One thing. I wonder how these people who are abiding the law speak in tongues. Because in Judaism, there's no speaking in tongues. Praise the Lord. So I wonder how these people are doing what? Speaking in tongues. Praise the Lord. Please, let's go on. We are telling the Lord that He should give us understanding concerning this way. The Lord should give us understanding. In his way, the way that he has given us. We are speaking about this um, this topic for about two weeks. The Lord Jesus Christ will give us understanding that we can understand and accept it that the law is passed, but now we have the kingdom of God. Yes. Pray and tell the Lord that Lord Jesus Christ may give you understanding. Oh, in the name of our Lord Jesus, Father, we need understanding the Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Christ, may give us understanding the Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, give us understanding of the Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, give us understanding of the Lord. We pray for more understanding of the Lord. We pray for understanding of the Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give us understanding of the Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for more understanding of the Lord. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Rabada bada bada ba, rabada bada bada ba, shabada bada bada ba. We pray for understanding, of the Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we pray for understanding, of the Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we pray for understanding, of the Lord. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, give us understanding, of God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, rabada bada bada ba, rabada bada bada ba, rabada bada bada ba. The grace to understand your word, of God. The grace to understand. Stand your word to God. Rabada bada bada ba. Shabada bada bada ba. Raika bada 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 ba. Raika bada 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 ba. Raika bada 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 ba. The grace of God to understand your word in the name of our Lord Jesus. The grace of God to understand your word in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. The grace of God to understand your word. This message of God in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Father, give us understanding of God. Grace to understand your God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Rabada Bada 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 In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The reason why people don't understand, many people don't understand the fact that the law is passed is that when you go to the book of 
Colossians, Colossians, sorry. Colossians, chapter number 2, verse number 13, 14, 15. He said that when the Lord Jesus Christ himself decided to take the law away, he what? He fought with all principalities and powers. Meaning that the law is what? Is under what? The control of what? Principalities and powers. There's, so there's no way you can come from it if the law does not come in. If the Lord Jesus Christ does not come in, there's no way you can overcome it. You can overcome the law. That is the reason why people, many people are what? Arguing that, oh, the law is not passed. We are telling the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ that any power, any principality, making sure that I will never accept this message, may the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke them. Amen. In the name of our Lord, say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Any, power, any power, principality, power, any creature, any, creature, any demon any in my demon, life, in my life making sure that I will accept the, the message of the kingdom in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, rebuke that power, that demon in the name of Jesus. Rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus, say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, any power in my life, um, in my life, um, that doesn't want me to obey the gospel of the kingdom, but to obey, but to obey the laws of Moses. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, come, let may the power of God, may the power of God arrest that demon in the name of Jesus from my life, um, in the name of Jesus, the rest of Nazareth, pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shabada bada 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 ba Right come bada 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 ba Right come bada 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 ba Shaka bada 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 ba Right come bada 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 ba Right come bada 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 ba Right come bada 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 ba Shaka bada 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 ba Right come bada 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 ba Right come bada 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 ba God may be so many power in my life of God that has been born to me to obey your words of God to obey the gospel of the king in the mighty name of Father Jesus Christ. In the name of Allah Jesus. Hallelujah. We are telling the Lord that he should, he should deliver us from what? Blindness. Amen. Hallelujah. Because when Paul, when Saul was in the, in Judaism, when he was obeying the law, he could not see the gospel of peace. Hallelujah. Amen. But it got to the point that the Lord Jesus Christ would make him. And he commanded his servant that you should go and pray for this man so that you see the light that I brought into this earth. We are telling the Lord that may the Lord Jesus Christ save us from any blindness of the laws of the laws. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come to you, I cry to you, I say, the Lord, deliver me from any blindness in the name of Jesus, any blindness of the Lord in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, deliver me, O Lord, deliver me, O Lord, from that blindness in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Christ. pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, may deliver us to God in the name of God, from any blindness of God, any that are blinded us, of God. They are blinded anyone watching us, of God. Anyone who is with us, of God. May that person be, of God. May the Lord Jesus Christ keep that person, of God, the sight of God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may he restore the sight of your people, of God. Give us, of God. Give us sight to see him. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let any blind or any mind of God that be blinded of God be released in the name of Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus, we are praying for those who are with us. We are telling the Lord Jesus Christ that. May the Lord Jesus Christ release anyone from any blindness of the Lord. 
Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. we bring our viewers and before you. We say, the Lord, um, lift your mighty hand, stretch your powerful hand, um, save your people um, from any blindness um, brought by the Lord in the name of Jesus. Um, any blindness, um, Lord Jesus, um, save your people um, in the name of Jesus um, from any blindness um, in the name of Jesus. Um, pray in the name of Father Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anyone watching us so far? Anyone who watch us, O oh God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you save us, O oh God, and may you save that person, O oh God, from any spiritual blindness, O oh God, in the name of Father Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Father Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Father Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, um, let your light um, fall upon my life. Um, let your light um, fall upon my life. Um, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, may give us light of God. For it is written your word that we call us. You are the light of the world. Father, let your, let your light of God appear in my life of God. In the life of our viewers of God. In the mighty name of our Jesus Christ. Father, give us light of God. Let the light of God be given unto us, O Lord. That we see the truth of God. In the mighty name of Father Jesus Christ. As we give sight of God to boy in the name of Father Jesus Christ. Father, may give us sight of God. As we give light to God. Father, may give us light of God. In the mighty name of Father Jesus Christ, Father, give us light of God. As you give it unto God, may give us your God. In the name of Father Jesus I pray for you. May the Lord Jesus Christ release you from any chains of the Lord of God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may any demonic power that have taken upon itself um, to make sure that you obey the laws of Moses. Jesus. May that demon be rebuked um, in the name of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the hand of the Lord be against any power of darkness Jesus. in your life in the name of our Lord Jesus Amen. Christ of Nazareth. Anyone who is sick, may the Lord Jesus Christ heal you. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may the power of the living God rest upon you. Amen. May the power of the living God move you Amen. to obey the gospel of the kingdom. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord Jesus Christ, we bless your name. Amen. We lift you, Lord Jesus Christ, for what you have done. We pray answering in Jesus' mighty name. We pray with Amen. 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 Beloved, this is Kingdom Preachers Ministry. Hallelujah. Amen. Every day, 7 o'clock in the evening, we have been meeting here. We share the word of God and we also have pray concerning what we have heard. We have listened. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And also, tomorrow morning and every day, King Sarah's word and prayer ministry is what? There is something going on over there. Please come and uh, learn the word of God. Come and study the word of God with the, with the servants of God. He divide the word of God rightly as the Bible says. Hallelujah. So please be joined to him every morning from 4 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock. One hour. Join him. King Sarah's word and prayer ministry. Join him. He'll be blessed. And also, God willing, tomorrow we'll be on your way. God bless you. Bye-bye.